Hi everyone, so it is currently 4.13 p.m. and today is 2nd January 2024 Tuesday and this is my to-do list for today. So my main task for today is to complete the chapter quadratic equations from the book of Aras Agarwal as I'm already done with the NCRT. So and also I'm, I'll be studying for 8 hours today. So this is going to be an interesting video. So let's place a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes now. So this timer will end at... 5 44 pm so yeah let's start practicing maths now so here i was practicing the questions from the chapter quadratic equations from the book of aras agarwal and it took me seven hours to complete because this chapter has a lot of questions including the examples even after skipping a few of them it took me a lot of time to complete and as a result I only managed to do maths and science on that day and not the rest of the things on my to-do list. But the good news is that this chapter has been completed. I am left with two more chapters polynomials and real numbers which are very minor chapters and my concepts of those chapters are quite clear. So from tomorrow onwards I will start solving the sample papers. And simultaneously, I will also give 45 minutes or 40 minutes to those two chapters also. Because even if they are minor, they are important, right? So a lot of you have been asking me about my school. So basically, my winter vacations are going on currently. And from 9th January onwards, we have our second pre-boards. And on 9th January only, our school will reopen after the winter vacations. And once our second three boards get over, we will have preparatory leave. So the classes of 10th grade are over in my school. I have no more classes to attend. 5.44 and now I'll take a break of 12 minutes. So this timer will end at 5.76. So I'll resume my study session from 5.00. 5. Sorry, I'll resume my study session from i'll resume my study session from 556 onwards currently 557 let's place a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes again this timer will end at 7:44 pm let's start so as i've already mentioned that we will have our second three boards from 9th january we also have no gap days in between like only for mathematics we have a four day gap otherwise all the exams will be held one after the other now if i talk about the syllabus of other subjects like uh, sst science english and hindi then i can start solving the sample paper of sst most probably i will do so from day after tomorrow or two days later and if I talk about the sample paper of science, then I am still left with the revision of two chapters, Magnetic Effects and Human Eye. So hopefully those two will be done in the span of two days or three days maximum. After that, I will also start solving the sample paper of science. And if I talk about the sample paper of English and Hindi, then for English, I will solve the sample paper a day before the exam because I don't think I will have enough time to do it on the rest of the days. And same goes for hindi i'll do it one day before the exam and for hindi i haven't bought any sample paper book so i will solve the sample paper of cbse only so yeah that was my plan regarding the sample paper solving 8 12 pm right now i'll place a timer of one hour this timer will end at 9 12 pm so right now i will start practicing the chapter magnetic effects of electric current so I actually watched two lectures. So basically there was this 30 minute revision lecture of Rakshak sir from the channel of physics wala. And I watched it in like 1.75 X or 5 X speed. So that got done quickly. But I had like I was confused in the topic of uh, current through a circular loop. So I watched a separate explanation video for that from the channel of Vedantu. This was the video of Abhishek sir. And once my concepts of those topic was clear. I again started watching the lecture video of Rakshak sir. It might sound like it took a lot of time but it did not because I watched all those videos in like 1.75 or 5x speed. So that got done pretty quickly. So from this chapter the most interesting and major topics have been deleted. So this is not a very difficult chapter and once I'm done with the chapter revision I will start solving the exemplar. Basically tomorrow I will solve the exemplar of this chapter. The activities in science actually hold a lot of importance because in the exemplar 
you are literally asked to demonstrate a particular activity and obviously we can also demonstrate the activities on our own it is not necessary that we have to copy paste the same thing from the ncert but in our uh, school exam also there was a question in the comprehensive passage sorry in the case based question and i was unable to find the answer to it but when i read the ncert thoroughly again while revising i got that particular answer in the activity itself so activity is actually hold a lot of importance so i took a long break after being done with science and then i started doing maths again for 90 minutes so actually i had gone downstairs to celebrate my birthday because like i only cut a cake in the presence of uh, four oh sorry five very close family members and after that i started studying again because the exams are knocking on the I door i was born on 2nd january 2007 which means that i am 17 currently and it's a lot for me like 16 was all right okay okay sweet 16 but 17 is just making me feel like a grown up and i don't want to feel like a grown up it's just a lot and by the way i skipped the second exercise because it was very similar to the third exercise and in the third exercise we had to use the shridhacharya's rule so as a result i skipped the second one now in the third exercise i got stuck most of the times because i was making some very silly mistakes uh, which resulted in getting a wrong answer so that is why some questions took around even 10 to 15 minutes to complete after the 90 minute study session got over i took a break of 50 minutes again and then i started studying for 90 minutes so let me tell you how i studied in this day basically i studied for 90 minutes and then i took a break of 15 minutes after that i studied for 90 minutes again and then i again took a break of 15 minutes and then i studied for 1 hour so this comprises of 4 hours of studying after that i took a long break and then i placed a timer of 90 minutes then i took a break of 15 minutes again i started studying for 90 minutes and then i took a break of 15 minutes and then i studied for 1 hour so here we also studied for 4 hours so in total i studied for 8 hours and 7 hours i only did mathematics and in the 1 hour left i did science and even though i did mathematics for such a long period of time i did not get bored because this chapter is interesting like if it were statistics then yeah there were chances that i might have gotten extremely exhausted but since i like this chapter i did not really feel the tiredness so i am posting this video after two days and the reason being i think it's pretty obvious that we all are 10th graders and uh, you know the pressure right you know that there's a lot to do but so little time left even though i'm prepared i just feel like that there is something or the other in which i might lag behind in so i have to focus on that also so i'm sorry if i'm irregular but i also hope that you will understand my situation so i'm hoping for a good score in mathematics and science mostly because these two are my favorite subjects and also i want a good score in sst english and hindi also because the overall percentage depends on all the subjects so yeah and i will definitely share the result with all of you like even if it's bad or good i will share it no matter what because you have seen my journey so i think that i should share it with you and in this way i will also remember my mistakes in the future so yeah that was it and i'm finally done with the 8 hour study challenge and also i'm done with the chapter quadrate equations so yeah i will start solving the sample papers from today itself because it's wednesday already so yeah that was it for today's video it was quite a productive night i'd say so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you in my next video tomorrow bye